the new case is the probability that Australia wins a cricket match is 1 by 3. That means Australia winning any cricket match, the probability is 1 by 3. If India and Australia plays 3 matches, what is the probability that number 1, Australia will lose all the 3 matches and number 2, Australia will win at least 1 match. Now first of all, India and Australia are going to play 3 matches. All the three matches are three different events and number two, the three events are independent. So, let us take the sign, say A1, Australia wins first match. A2, Australia wins second match and A3 Australia wins third match and the probability that Australia wins a cricket match is one third that means P of A1 equals to 1 by 3 P of a2 equals to 1 by 3 and P of A3 equals to 1 by 3. Moreover, the probability that Australia loses the first match, that is P of A1 complement, should be 1 minus 1 by 3, that means 2 by 3. Same way, probability that Australia loses the second match, that is also 2 by 3 and Australia wins rather loses the third match 2 by 3. Now it is not necessary any team who wins the first match is going to win all the other the two matches. So all the three matches are independent events that means A1, A2 and A3 are independent. What will be the effect of independent? Intersection of any two or three events will be just multi multiplication of the respective probabilities. Now let us take the first case. What is the probability that Australia will lose all the three matches? Probability that Australia will lose all the three matches that is equivalent to Australia loses the first match A1 complement and intersection Australia loses the second match A2 complement and that means intersection Australia loses the third match A3 complement now we are aware that all the three matches are independent events that means A1, A2, A3 are independent. So just multiplication of probability of A1 complement, probability of A2 complement and probability of A3 complement. That means 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3. So the probability is 8 by 27. We have to understand the fact that A1, A2 and A3 are independent in our own. We cannot expect that this is written in the question. This is given in the question. This is matter of our understanding. Now the second case. The probability that Australia wins at least one match or Australia will win at least one match the keyword is at least one the one way of working is to find 
A B of A union B union C, but that will be a, a say long way. There is another way. Any time, if you want to calculate probability of at least one, then it is one minus probability of none. Because at least one means either one match or two matches or all the three matches. The complement event is zero matches or Australia wins no match. That means one minus probability of complement. We know that probability of A is one minus probability of A complement or vice versa. Probability of A complement is one minus P of A. Like that, probability of at least one is always one minus probability of none. So it will be 1 minus 8 by 27. So the required probability is 19 by 27. You can remember the Morgan's rule for this purpose. Got it?